Dear friends, if you like my videos, please subscribe and like. Thank you. Long atop, pick in the large ute bass 4x4 segment, the Everest has forever played a distant second fiddle to the related Ranger pickup on the sales charts, up until quite recently. The next-gen Everest, which launched around July to August 2022, set a number of sales records last year and has the Blue Oval firmly in contention for segment sales leadership. Going into 2023, a full year of deliveries could prove to be a turnaround for this off-road capable seven-seater. Pros, class-leading tech, impressively refined on the move, strong list of standard inclusions. Cons, priced against top-spec competition, 2.0 liters by turbo diesel thirsty on test, excellent V6 not available in trend spec. The Ford Everest range opens at $53,290 plus on-road costs for the base Ambiente 4x2, but the trend 4x4 on test is a bit dearer starting at $65,590 before on-roads. You can get the Everest trend by turbo as a 4x2 for $60,590, though if you have any intentions of going off-road we'd suggest the all-poor model is the one to buy. Despite the trend being one up from base trim in the Everest family, it's priced in line with high spec versions of most direct competitors. While it's only one up from base level, Ford has done a great job at making the Everest trend's interior competitive at this price point. The trend upgrades to the larger 12 inch central infotainment system over the Ambiente's basic 10 inch unit and the soft touch door tops and leather accented trim really lift the ambience over said Ambiente. Ahead of the driver is the 8.0-inch digital instrument cluster that's common to all variants bar the top-spec Platinum, and the leather-trimmed multifunction steering wheel looks good and feels good in the hand. As we've covered previously, Ford's display tech is top of the class, no question. The 12-inch SYNC 4 infotainment unit offers largest in-class display real estate, arguably class-leading usability and response, and is well-featured. Wireless smartphone mirroring, embedded satellite navigation with online updates, voice control and DAB radio cover all bases. In practice the screen is quite easy to use, and everything works as it should. Wireless Apple CarPlay worked the first time, every time with my iPhone 14 Pro Max, while the screen is quick to respond to touch inputs and the menus are all logically laid out. Props to Ford for including both virtual and physical climate controls, allowing you to use the base of the screen to toggle temperature or the knobs underneath. It avoids you being limited to touch functionality, which can be a little clumsy if you need to adjust things on the move. The basic 8.0-inch digital instrument cluster is a little spartan for my liking, and I wish there was the option to upgrade to the Platinum's excellent 12-inch unit. But, it does the job and has a few different widgets and menus you can shuffle through. Comfort up front is excellent, with the driver's seat also power adjustable six ways. The leather accented trim is hardy, but doesn't feel like toad skin, and there's plenty of space giving and airy feel. Storage is likewise very good. There are plenty of nooks in the center console for loose items, as well as a wireless smartphone charging pad. The door pockets are a little skinny for a car this large and rugged, though the huge center bin under the padded armrest sort of makes up for it. Rear seat space has improved over the previous generation, and the elevated theater-style seating means little ones will have a good view out, no more emergency stops for car sickness. Leg, head and knee room are all plentiful even if you're over six foot like myself, and if you can squeeze three across for shorter journeys. I will note the large driveline hump in the floor eats into foot room, however. While there isn't a third zone of climate control, there is a manual fan control to toggle the airspeed through the roof-mounted air vents in the second and third rows, which is handy to have. Behind the center console is also a module with USB-A and USB-C outlets to keep phones and iPads juiced. Other rear seat amenities include map pockets behind the front seat backs, a fold-down center armrest with cup holders, 
bottle holders in the doors, as well as the requisite Isofix window seat anchors and top tether points across all three rear seats. Access to the third row is via folding and sliding the second row forward, but it's not quite as easy to get in as it is in something like a Kia Sorento or Mazda CX-9. Once you're back there it's more than kid-friendly, and you can probably pinch some adults in there for a shorter journey. Air vents feature back there, along with 12 volts ports, and the curtain airbags cover all three rows of seating. Big windows are also A+. Behind the third row, there's 259 liters of cargo space, expanding to 898 liters with it folded and 1823 liters with the second row folded. With all three rows up, you can fit either some small bags or perhaps one suitcase, pending size. The Everest trend is exclusively offered with the 2.0 liter by turbo four-cylinder diesel, tested here with the optional full-time 4x4 drivetrain. Outputs for the four-pot oiler are rated at 154 kilowatts, 3,750 revolutions per minute, and 500 newton meters, 1750 to 2000 revolutions per minute, with drive channel to that aforementioned full-time 4x4 system via a standard 10-speed automatic transmission. As noted earlier, you can save $5,000 and get the trend spec as a 4x2 which drives the rear wheels only. Otherwise, the engine specs and transmission are the same. Further up the range, in sport and platinum grades you can also choose from a beefier 184 kW-600 Nm 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel. Ford quotes combined fuel consumption of 7.2 liters per 100 km, with the fuel tank measuring 80 liters in capacity. The engine is Euro 6 certified, and features idle stop slash start tech and add blue injection. The Everest is rated to tow up to 3,500 kg with a braked trailer. Curb weight for this variant is listed as 2,383 kg, while gross vehicle mass, GVM, is rated at 3,100 kg and gross combination mass, GCM, is 6,250 kg. The latest Everest, and Ranger for that matter, transcend their workhorse underpinnings to offer luxury SUV levels of comfort and refinement on the road. Moreso the Everest, given its more pliant coil spring rear suspension. Fire it up and the bi-turbo diesel puts out a subdued diesel clatter that's typical of smaller capacity oilers, though it's never to the point where you'd consider it unrefined, particularly against its competition. In town the 2.0-litre diesel hardly feels underpowered, with enough torque and gear ratios to get along effortlessly. The 10-speed automatic is a noticeable improvement over the preceding Everest, which doesn't sound like it's constantly hunting for the right gear, and offers crisper upshifts under acceleration, the old one would at times sound like a CVT. Comfort in the Everest trend is another strong point in the city, thanks to its smaller 18-inch wheels and chubby tires. It irons out the lumps and bumps of urban and inner-city roads with aplomb, and doesn't suffer much wallowing or clumsy body control that some vehicles in this segment do. Light steering and good outward visibility also make this big bus that little bit easier to place in tight streets and car parks, though there's no escaping its lofty ride height and hefty exterior dimensions, Remember the Everest measures 4,914 mm long and 2,207 mm wide. The more rugged rubber transmits faint tire roar into the cabin, but it's arguably quieter at speed than some premium badged compact passenger vehicles that retail for similar money. Speaking of the highway, the 10-speed auto and 2.0-liter by turbo diesel hum away almost silently in the background at a cruise, making the Everest a fantastic cross-country tourer. The ride is settled and compliant over undulations, road and wind noise are kept to impressive levels, and the array of standard driver assistance systems take the load off extended stints behind the wheel. Everest Ambiente highlights, 17-inch alloy wheels, all-season tires, 17-inch steel spare wheel, LED reflector headlights, C-shaped LED daytime running lights, front fog lights, LED tail lights, black side steps, 
auto power folding side mirrors, rain sensing wipers, two front tow hooks, steel underbody protection, 4x4 only, 8.0 inch digital instrument cluster, 10.1 inch sync 4 touchscreen infotainment system, satellite navigation, DAP, plus digital radio, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless phone charger. 8 speaker sound system, embedded voice assistant, forward pass embedded modem, forward pass connect with remote functions, dual zone climate control, 5 seats, 7 seats optional, fabric upholstery, 8-way manual driver seat adjustment, 4-way manual front passenger seat adjustment, driver floor mat, electrochromatic rearview mirror, dash-mounted pull-out cup holders, open storage shelf, tilt and reach steering wheel adjustment, keyless entry with push-button start, vinyl console lid, electronic parking brake, conventional mechanical gear shifter, 4x2 only, e-shifter gear shifter, 4x4 only, locking rear differential, 4x4 only, push-button selectable drive modes. Everest Trend adds, 7 seats, 18-inch alloy wheels with matching spare, privacy glass, power tailgate, heated, power folding side mirrors with puddle lamps, 12-inch sink 4 touchscreen infotainment screen, leather accented upholstery, 8-way power driver's seat adjustment, leather wrapped steering wheel, driver and passenger floor mats, upper glove box, off-road screen, 4x4 models only, rotary drive mode selector, 4x4 models only, sand, mud slash ruts drive modes. Standard safety equipment includes, 9 airbags including front center, autonomous emergency braking, AB, reverse EEP, post impact braking, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, driver attention alert, blind spot monitoring, reverse camera, front and rear parking sensors.